So we were absolutely delighted to be in a position to sponsor this report, uh, a compelling piece of economic analysis that builds on some work that we did earlier in the summer, where we used the government's own tools to demonstrate that a major refurbishment of Britain's cold, leaky buildings could yield economic savings of around 12 billion a year. This report is very consistent with that. It illustrates just how we can all benefit from that through economic growth, through job creation. It puts some numbers around the increases in tax take that the Treasury might yield as a result of that economic growth. And it puts a refurbishment of Britain's buildings into the same narrative as big projects in the infrastructure plan, except that it's even better value for money. So for example, this report illustrates that for every pound that we put in, we get £3.25 back into a major refurbishment programme like this. By contrast, high speed two, put a pound in, get two pounds back. So we really do have quite a compelling economic case. There's also a political dimension to this, of course, which is that on Monday, if you look at the recent polling data that Lord Ashcroft uh, released, you'll see from that that the second most important thing, or the second biggest issue on voters' minds ahead of the election is economic growth and job creation. It's slightly behind the NHS, it's considerably ahead of immigration, both in terms of the way they see it affecting Britain overall and the way they see it as affecting them and their families as individuals. Now, we haven't yet in this country properly made the link between a major building refurbishment programme on the one hand with that voter uh, imperative for economic growth and job creation. And this report is a huge contribution to providing the evidence to doing that.